Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Sir Gama and this video is a part of my YouTube video series all about music business for independent artists. And today it's one of the most interesting video where I'm going to tell you how you can distribute your music, your song for free on streaming platforms. I know there are a lot of options if you want to distribute your music for free, but I'm going to tell you one of the best which provides the same service which are being provided to the premium customers who pay money and you are going to get that for free without paying anything upfront. And this is the one that I personally also used earlier back in the days when I did not used to have any budget to distribute my songs. And if you are new here and if you like this video and if you want to stay updated to what I upload, please press that subscribe, like and bell icon so that you can stay updated with my videos which I release every Friday. In this YouTube video series, I have released a lot of stuff earlier also and it's coming in future weeks also where I'm telling everything that I know about music business as an independent artist. So everything that you need to know if you are an independent artist and you do not have any management that is working for you, this channel will help you know each and everything that you must know including how many types of royalties are there, how is your song making money, how you should claim the money that your song is making, in which organizations you should enroll so that you are able to get your money from there and how to own your ISRC. There, there is a lot of stuff. I cannot even mention every one of them. It is advisable that you see this whole video from top to bottom like the whole series and you'll get the link of the same in the description and in your card as well. With that being said, let's start and indulge in the video. So the digital service provider that I want to talk about is Root Note and uh, you will get a link in the description after seeing the video if you want to use their services and want to distribute your music for free then you can head on to the link in my description and you're good to go let's go into the system and I'll guide you through it how to release your next single or album for free so this is the website that you want to visit rootnote.com and if you are new then you have to click get started and if you already have an account then you have to log in so let's suppose we are new and let's get started here so these are some basic details which are self-explanatory username is john jacob which is not but yeah just for references and this 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 at gmail.com and then you have to create a password password and then you have to select a security question. This is the question that if this question is asked to you after a couple of years, then you should give the same answer. Yeah. So you have to remember the question and the answer that you choose. For example, favorite band musician. Then my answer is Sir Gama because why not? And then you have to give your PayPal email address. This is important because this is how you will get money. If your song will earn royalties, then this is how you're going to get paid via PayPal. And if you do not have, you obviously want to make one because PayPal is widely used worldwide and there are a lot of other services also which pays you money in PayPal. So you might want to go there and got a referral code. And if you do not, if you go to the page with my link in description, you do not need to go here. It will be already applied and you stay up to date with Rootnote News. I agree to the Rootnote News and then you're not a robot and do all the formalities. If there are any, then you sign up. Then after you sign up, you will come back to this page and then you have to log in with your credentials. So now this is the home page when you sign in or log in into Rootnote. So there are a lot of tabs in the menu you can see here. First one is distribution, then YouTube. We'll go to each one of them. But first, let's do what we are here for. Let's create a new music release. You have to go here, create new release. And then you have to put in your UPC EAN, which you won't be having. Let Rootnote put in UPC as per them. So you have to leave this blank. Release title, which is the name of the song. For example, I'll release a song, Pehli Barsat. By the way, this is the song. Uh, which is going to be released soon with a crazy singer. She's very talented. And if you want to listen to my original music, you can get the link in the description. You can stream my music. And let me know if you like by texting me on Instagram. You will get my username somewhere here and you'll get the link in my description. Cool. So, Pehli Barsat and let's create new release. These are the things that you have to fill. First of all, album details. You have to go here. And then in here, the language you have to choose in my case which is Hindi Pehli Barsat is your title it's an album a single an EP whatever it is it's the title of that an album version this is not an album so album version is not valid compilation no it's not a compilation album it's a different single primary artist is Sir Gama here 
and then i want to add an artist another primary artist who is the singer with whom i collaborated cool so these are the two artists after that i have to select the primary genre which is in my case pop then uh the secondary i'll choose electronic cool so the composition copyright belongs to me which is sir gama sound recording copyright belongs to me which is sir gama so composition copyrights and sound recording copyrights if you do not know about these copyrights i have a dedicated video in which i am telling everything about music copyrights and even how to copyright your song yourself without paying any extra fees to the middleman any lawyer or any ca so you can get that video link in the description and also you can get that video here somewhere in cards there are two types of copyrights and i have explained them in real detail in those videos i own both the copyrights of that song yeah here so i'll put my name here and the record label name if you do not have a record label name then you can put your name as the record label name for example here i'll put my record label name is sir gama yeah so originally released what is the release date it is not released yet you want to release it so you have to choose the date that you want to release it on for example i'll put my date as 1st of july uh, also it is very advisable that you keep at least one or one and a half month of gap in between putting up your release and then releasing it if i am putting the release today then the release date should be after one or one and a half month yeah so that there are a lot of things that you want to do in those weeks in between so you are giving root note a time to review your song and then upload it because if you give them four days time and then you say out in the world that your song is going to be released in 4 days but it's not because root note will take approximately 1 week to review your song that everything is fine and it is approved to be distributed in two different distribution platforms like different streaming platforms like spotify etc so you have to keep 1 to 1 and a half month and you want to use that one month in between to make strategies of how you will promote your song how you will do playlist pitching and a lot of stuff so the next is pre order date if you are placing a pre order of the song on itunes then you want to select the date for that also i am releasing it on 1st and from 28 onwards people can you know pre order this and sale start date when you want to start the sale which is the same date i am releasing the song on 1st at time at what time you want to release your song like it's on 1st july but at what time so i want to release it at 8 am and time zone which is my country's time zone gmt plus 530 here or you can also select this option which is better go live at 8 local time so in every country it will be live on 1st july 8 am doesn't matter upon the gmt plus 530 or minus 530 it will be live from 8 am onwards in every country in their local time explicit content no it's not explicit and if it's a clean version like you have a song which is explicit and you are releasing a clean version of it so you have to select clean version but it's not explicit save and continue album details as you can see here are checked and the other things are crossed then you have to add your audio make sure the audio that you are adding is wave file 32 bit flute and 44.1 kilohertz sample rate it is the best quality that listeners are going to listen via distribution platforms yeah so you have to choose a file click here choose a file and then let's suppose i'll choose any file as of now just for reference and you can only choose either mp3 files or flac files and i'll prefer you choose flac files because they are lossless mp3 files are lossy and flac files are lossless in mp3 files there will be some details of the song the bit rate or the sample rate which will be a little bit lost it won't be very significant when you'll hear it but there is for sure a bit of a loss but in flac files it's lossless it will be as detailed as it can be as detailed as you produced it i do not have i think any flac files with me i'll just upload any mp3 just for the reference sake it's uploading right now just give it a second because it takes a little bit of time to upload and after the track is uploaded as you can see here it's 100% uploaded you have to add track after the track is uploaded you have to give the name of the track which is pehli barsat and then you have to save continue now we are here in the audio metadata section what is audio metadata metadata means the information that is embedded in the mp3 or wave file itself so basically metadata can be of anything metadata of a photograph of a video file an audio file so any media file which has information which is embedded in that particular media is the metadata here the track of the name then the title version like you can write here if it is a live recording you can uh, write here live from miami or club remix or anything like that if you want to give any specific details about the track 
you can put in here that that title version and the track number it's one it's a single then primary artist another primary artist isrc code this is the most important thing and you have to copy this code and keep it safe somewhere in your notes or somewhere else because this is the identity of the song if you do not know what is an isrc and this isrc is provided to me by root note and if you have your own isrc you can delete this and you can put your own isrc in it what is an isrc what's this use why is it important to own your own isrc instead of using this isrc which is provided by distributors and you can do it for free by the way in india at least want to know those details please head in the description and watch that video i'll put a link i have a complete dedicated video on isrcs i'll also put that video link here in cards let's go ahead and is it explicit no audio language hindi if everything's correct then you have to save and continue so now it has taken to the next section where it's saying upload audio are you finished uploading for this release if you want to add more tracks if it's an ep you want to track more than one tracks or if it's an album you want to add more tracks then you can add more tracks from here else you can say i am finished then it will take you to the next window where you have to complete these two things the next is add an artwork add an artwork is basically 3000 by 3000 pixel size is the uh, recommended size because it gives the user high quality photos because you do not know if the user is using spotify or you do not know the user is watching or listening to your song on tv or smartphone or a laptop or the smart tv the big ones the big screens so you want to give as high detail as possible and the maximum size that streaming platforms ask for is 3000 by 3000 pixel so it's one is to one ratio 3000 by 3000 pixel and there are some norms that you want to follow when you are making the artwork of your song you can get it here there should not be any website url there should not be any contact information like email address phone number etc no pornographic images pricing information should not be mentioned copyrighted images should not be used everything that you use in your artwork should be no copyright royalty free or your original yeah and i prefer it should be something of your original and not a copyright free or royalty free thing yeah then scan of a cd it should not be a scan of a cd and blurry or pixelated images are not appreciated you have to put as detailed and clean images as possible unless it's something creative thing then that's a different thing then 3000 by 3000 pixel is recommended professional quality product relevant images less than 25 mb rgb color space now you have to click here to upload a file let me upload an artwork of cool na aya which was my last song and if you want to listen to my songs you'll get the link in the description please stream and let me know how you like it let's suppose this is my album art right now so we'll save and continue only the thing that is left right now before we distribute a single is manage stores here is the section where you will manage on what platforms do you want your song to be distributed so just click here and wait for the window to open in 100% cases every time i select select all stores here because i do not want any store which is you know streaming music and it is not having my song on it i want as much stores as possible to have my song on the platform and the best part about root note is they do not take any money in the starting and they let you upload music on all the stores that they are providing to premium customers also i have not seen any other distributor doing the same amount of work like they let you upload for free but only on a selected platforms and if you want more platforms then you charge then they charge more money from you but that's not the case in root note and as i'm saying free free means you do not have to pay anything up front but when your songs will earn money in future root note will keep 15 one 5 15% of your royalties as their income and the rest will be given to you after taxes so they are taking 15% of your commission but if you are just starting out and you do not know if your songs will make money or not or what will happen in the future then it's a safe starting point where you do not have to pay any money in the starting and your song will be released and you do not have to stress out by paying any annual fee or any maintenance charges or anything because you do not know if your songs will earn or not then if songs earn in future hopefully which they will then root note will keep 15% of the cut and if you think your songs are earning way too much that you do not want to give away your 15% then you can switch your plan from free to premium and we'll talk about that just in a bit important information here it's important you should read this you're always valid for content id like if it's original and it's not using any samples which are not royalty free or any public domain audio or it's not a sound alike or any meditation music then your song is eligible for content id of youtube content id of youtube means if your song is being played in any other video which is on youtube then root note will go and claim that that 
song being played on that particular video is your song and you should be get paid because that video is using your song in it youtube will be scanning the content id and it will be directing all the videos money claims to your account whoever videos uh, contains your music so then itunes apple music you want to keep standard or lowest or low or high i generally keep them standard here and then warning you want to do it worldwide release or you want to include some territories and i want to do it worldwide so if you want to exclude some territories out of this then you can type here but i do not want to exclude any area of the world i just want my song to be available worldwide in all the platforms possible then from here you have to save and continue this was the last thing that you have to do and then your release is ready to distribute and we'll do that in just a bit after this uploads so this is your home page these are the platforms on which your music will be distributed and then the track length is 1 minute 5 seconds it's just a demo track that i just uploaded here for the reference sake this is isrc primary artist if you want to view track details then do it if you want to edit something edit then there are these two options first you have to check this i understand and accept root notes terms and conditions and have read through artist label agreement free distribution model allows artist to upload their music to the world's largest music stores without having to pay up front and artist keeps 85% of the royalties and or on premium you have to pay an annual fee which is $10 for a single $20 for an ep $30 for an album $45 for an extended album and by extended album i mean the album which contains more than 19 songs is an extended album this is an annual fee which you have to pay which is 10 dollars per single if you want to distribute for free you can do right now but as i told you earlier if your song start earning money and you do not want to give away your 15% commission from the song's earnings then you can always switch your plan from free to premium and then you can start paying 10 dollars an upfront fee for a song and yeah that's pretty much it i will not distribute it right now because this was just a sample for you guys that's it that's how you can distribute your song for free via root note to all the major platforms and you do not have to pay any upfront fee the link for root note is in my description if you like the content that i make and if you like the way i taught you in the video you must check out my other videos as well and like share subscribe if you like it it helps the channel a lot and if you want to support me directly you will get a link of buy me a coffee in my description if you want to check out my nft store you will get that link in the description as well in near future i am about to upload a series where i'll be teaching music production how i make my songs the deconstruction of my songs mixing mastering tutorials and a lot of stuff is on the way so you might want to press that bell icon and subscribe button and stay updated with all my videos and if you want any private it mentoring or mixing mastering services or music production services you can head on to the email which is mentioned in the video description thank you so much stay safe stay healthy see you soon in the next video next friday peace out bye bye take care